Good morning, this is Raiden Watson from GT, and I'm going to be interviewing Miss DiJoli. May you please tell me about yourself? Um, yes, eh. my name is Lisa DiJoli. I am the Little T Bird department head. Um, I am a lifelong resident of Tuba City, and um, my clans are Nadanske, Nanesh Eja, Dene, Nishle, Lashe, Bashish Chin. Kiaani Dashanella Do Lok Atdene Dashache. And originally I am from Cal Springs, Arizona, but I have a lot of family here. My father is from North Tuba, right up on top of the hill. So I have a big family all around. So, and um, I am married to Mr. Sinajini, and I have three beautiful kids. I have Tate, Tegan, and Treese. And that is me. <laughs> Uh, can you please tell me what inspired you to be an educator? To become an educator? Um, well, I've always enjoyed being around students and kids. And when I first started with um, schooling, I, I always knew I wanted to become a teacher just because um, I had a really good um, experience in education. And my parents moved around a lot growing up. and. Was, I was very fortunate to have really good teachers that, that really kept me going. And um, so when I finished college, I started teaching at Tuba City Junior High School. I taught seventh, eighth grade there. Then from there, I um, transitioned down to Eagle's Nest, which is now Tuba City Elementary School. Taught there for a couple years. Then I migrated over to Tuba City Boarding School and I taught fourth grade. Then I transitioned into fifth grade. And then after that, I moved into the education specialist position in which uh, I worked a lot with the school improvement team. I worked with um, just doing reports for the Tuba City Boarding School, running after school programs, running um, the school-wide testing for third grade all the way to eighth grade. So just a lot of, lot of things, but um, now I'm a department head, which is really fun just because I really miss being outside of the classroom. So now I get to see the kids on a daily basis and just pick up their good vibes and um, that's it. <laughs> what inspires you to become the department head? Uh, well, like I said, I started with administration when I was the education specialist with Mr. Coughlin. So I worked with a lot of um, department heads. Um, Mrs. Wimmer, there was Louise Scott, um, there was Mr. Frazier, Medge Windmiller, and Marie Morales. So those were all department heads that I worked with. And um, I just really looked at that aspect of um, just shaping the kids and being more, um, having more of a contribution as to the students and what they're learning. And I thought that was very important. And just being from the community, it seems really more um, heartfelt for me, just because I do have a big family and I do have a lot of relations and just growing up in the community, just doing what's best for the kids and wanting a better future for our students, so. Okay, uh, what do you like doing for fun? Uh, for fun, um, when I was younger, I used to play a lot of sports, volleyball, basketball. Uh, so that transition, since I'm older now, I used to do a lot of coaching, coach club volleyball, and I still do um, basketball with my youngest. I coach her club team now and then. And when I'm not coaching, I'm a big fan of my kids. So my girls play a lot of basketball and uh, my son, he ropes, he team ropes. So I like to follow him and I like to follow my husband and we get to watch them, watch my brother rope. And um, another thing that I really enjoy is going to concerts. So especially rock concerts. My favorite band is um, Motley Crue. So if you look at my socks. <laughs> so I, I like jamming out and just going to concerts and hanging out and being with family. Thank you, Mr. Jolie, for your time. And I would like to ask if you have anything else you want to say? Uh, not really. Well, you're welcome. And um, I do like being here at the school. And it was really fun, like when I first started out the school year at T-Bird Academy. So I got to see all you eighth graders 
now that you guys are older after two years and a lot of you guys I've known since you guys were little since you were my daughter's classmates so it's good to see you guys and it's interesting to see where you guys are going to be going in the future so that'll be it.